Hi guys, it's Paul again from my YouTube art tutorial channel. Um, okay, so we've almost finished this piece of art um, with cartoon characters and a few lessons ago, a few videos ago, we did Winnie the Pooh uh, holding a balloon flying above Bart Simpson's head. And you can see Bart Simpson further down. Um, right next to an angry bird and I said I was going to put a, a Nemo character in here. I think I'm going to do Gil who is the angel fish uh, that helps um, that helps Nemo. Okay, so that's what I'm going to probably do now. Right, I'm going to do it very small. Now in order to make this look like a fish tank, not a balloon, uh, I was thinking of putting some bright uh, blue um, stones, pebbles at the bottom like in the aquarium in the, in the film Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. So I've got a really bright like an aquamarine, sorry, a turquoisey colour um, that I'm going to do, and then maybe a few plants, um, a few plants in here as well, behind him, if we've got enough space. But this is going to be really small because he's got a really long, um, long fin at the back here. Okay, and he looks a little bit evil. He's not actually, but he looks quite scary looking. So I'm going to do this really small, okay, um, because we've got to get him all in, which is going to be quite difficult right into this balloon so what we want is um, he's got a, an eye here and it goes out to a nose that is like a, almost like a beak goes up at the end and then down and then this one comes right the way down okay not awkward as well at the edge of this sketchbook to to draw um, next to these spirals here. Um, so we'll draw this down here like this, and it'll look a bit weird at the moment because of that that uh, fin at the top. But hopefully we'll get there. Okay, so round his eye, just below this eye here. Got a funny shape, it's a stripy fish. So we've got a, a funny shape here. Okay, we'll put the stripes in in a minute. We just want to get the actual shape correct. Okay, so we've got another fin in here that goes up really thin. Okay, um, and then what we need to do is just to finish this off goes up and round and then it goes down to about the same same place here and it goes out however we've got another fin coming in now this is called the character's called Gil okay so we'll go in like that all right and he's got a line across here goes down a little bit and then up like this okay now he's got a, a really uh, narrow eye which is going to be quite difficult with a drawing this small but that's about it okay um, and then we'll put some more detail in that in a little while okay so we'll just try and get this if we can so we'll go around about right on the on the picture. Trying to keep him inside the bubble, obviously. Um, or the balloon. And this goes right down into a point, okay? Um, and the outside of this fin is black. Alright, and then he's got another couple of fins down here. So he's got one that goes up like that, and the other one is more of this kind of shape. All right, and that is it. So um, I'm going to go round it in uh, black. Okay. Um, so we'll go round it all in black if we can. 
Now with the fins, try and keep them as pointy as you can at the ends. Okay, I'll go up and round this one. And we'll go around this and we'll finish it there. Okay, so we're not too far away from finishing the main part here. And a bit of a thicker section here and then it goes like this. Okay. Put it down here and round those bits. We've got this fin coming in here. Now actually in the film he does finding Nemo. He looks black, but actually it's a really dark purple and black. So we'll do we'll do that um, like in the film. Okay, we've got a, a tiny black eye here. That's it. Okay. Um, so and then this fin at the back goes down like this. We've got a little bit of a white one there. So I'll leave that white. And we'll go around this as well. And that's um, about it. Get out of your way in a minute so you can see what I've done. There we are. Um, so there's Gil. Um, what we're now gonna do is change to um, black and um, I'm going to go black and purple, okay, just get my pencil sharpener. Um, so, we've just got to really sharpen up this black, um, sharpen this black if we're going to do it in pencil crayon. Might actually do it in, um, most of it in the fine liner that I've got, the Stabilo one, and the details of these pens and pencil crayons are in my uh, description on these videos, okay. Um, so. What we're going to do is, I'm going to stick actually with this black fine liner for the black sections. So I'm going to go black in here, above his eye. I'm going to go black to here, and black all the way around this bit, okay? Like this. Alright, um, I'm going to go around this fin. We're going black in there. Okay. Um, we may as well do, we're going to do black on these fins as well. There. That's it. Um, and then we're going to go black on this back one. Okay. So this is all going to be black here. There. All right black to the outside edge there. All right. Uh, with this back one, you're just gonna leave a tiny bit of white. So it's gonna be black all the way round, apart from that top section white. Okay. Um, and then this fin here, it's gonna be black at the back. And that's about it, really. Um, we're just going to have a little bit of purple going through. So I'm going to go for um, a little lightest kind of sparkly purple to start off with. Um, like this. Okay. Just be careful you don't go inside the eyes here. And we're going to go underneath there with that lighter that mid purple. Okay. Um, and we're just going to go over the black a little bit with the purple just to give it a little bit of a purpley sheen. Okay, now I'm going to go darker purple, almost black now. Okay, so over his eye, I'm going to even darker purple over the top of that purple. Okay, so it mixes in with that black. And underneath the eye here, I'm going to leave a bit of light purple. Okay. 
So we're going to go dark purple over the outside of his eye there. There we go. Okay. Um, so that's what we're going to achieve, hopefully. Now, with just a little bit of yellow in here, um, we've got most of these are white, but we've got little splashes of yellow in. Okay. Um, and we've got a tiny little bit of yellow on his um, on his front of his mouth there, okay? So a tiny little fleck of yellow on there. Um, now, I'm going to just do a little bit of light grey, okay? So we'll just grab a light grey, and the lightest grey we've got. Because we don't, what we don't want to do is just leave this all white, okay? So we'll leave the outside edge white, and we'll do this grey. You can do this with a light pencil crane if you wanted to. And this beak here, basically the front of his mouth is is grey as well and then this section's grey here tiny fleck of grey up here as well okay um, now if we just put a bit of grey in it just gives it a bit more interest okay now the darkest purple I'm gonna go for the darkest purple on this fin here I'm gonna leave a tiny little bit of white so you can see that it goes in into the body there okay and we're just going to go over that with a black now a little bit just to darken this bottom edge just this bottom edge there we go now over the top of his eye we're going to go back to the um, the fine liner okay because he's got like a what looks like an eyebrow okay so it's this kind of effect okay so a um, little bit more black around here um, so there's Gil. There we are. So there's Gil from Finding Nemo. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, just draw a few bits on here that will make it look a little bit more like pebbles. Okay. As in the film. Okay, so I'm just doing circles of this really bright colour. Okay just circles of this colour underneath here like at the bottom of an aquarium All right. and what we're going to have is some blue alright so not some blue sorry some green ok so we're going to go for um, a little bit, a tiny little bit, I'm just going to draw it out with a pencil. Um, we're going to go for a little bit of a plant here going in. Okay, and we'll do another little one that way so it looks like a plant, okay? Um, and then we're going to colour that in green. So hopefully it will look like is at the bottom of an aquarium rather than there we are okay um, and then real light shade because obviously at the moment there still looks like a, a white balloon real light shade of um, sky blue okay so it looks like he's in water all right so round his beak round his front of his mouth Almost like, like, it's like a parrot's beak this on this uh, angel fish. Nice and light if you can. You want that to kind of blend into the background so that it's the fish that comes to the foreground in your in your vision. Okay, you don't want the the back, uh, the colour dominating the picture. Okay, so just nice and light here through this area. You can even leave a little bit of white if you want to. Okay, but it's supposed to look like a fish tank rather than uh, a balloon. Okay, and I think what I'll do is I'll carry on with that uh, turquoisey colour for the stones. I'll carry on with that at the bottom of the balloon that's going into the string. Okay, and then you could, what you could do is you could actually um, 
spend a lot more time than I'm doing on this this section. Make it look more like a fish tank if you wanted to. Okay, um, so just going to bring in a few random dots and pebbles like this. Okay, so I'm just going to curve a few pebbles like that. All right. Um, so it looks like a bit of a fish tank. Okay. Um, what I'm then probably going to do is just go back to this kind of really bright turquoisey colour uh, and just colour in this section of the balloon at the bottom. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that's that is uh, Gil uh, in the balloon. Uh, hopefully uh, you've enjoyed that, and uh, you could probably make that a lot bigger if you wanted to. Um, so um, that's the tutorial for today. That's the first one today. Uh, I'll speak to you soon. All right, take care. Bye bye.